A library is not just a place for reading books. It is a sanctuary for knowledge, a hub of learning, and a gateway for endless possibilities. Today, we have the exciting privilege of witnessing the reopening of the Tunapuna Public Library. In April 2023, it was temporarily closed for massive renovations and now, almost a year later, residents can finally look forward to a new and improved library. I'm especially delighted, therefore, to declare the Tunapuna Public Library now officially open. Minister De Nobrega, as Line Minister in charge of the library, what are your thoughts on the reopening of the Tunapuna Public Library? As a Line Minister, I get real pleasure from seeing our projects being open. Not only because, of course, you want to deliver as a minister in charge of something, but because these, these buildings are so much more than just bricks and mortar. These buildings are spaces for young people to come together, the spaces for artists and creatives to come together. Spaces where we able to see investment, big and small, in our people, young and old. The Honourable Esmond Ford, Member of Parliament for Tunapuna, gave some insight into the innovative improvements made to the library. As you can see, the library is more spacious. Right, the library now has a front door which has access from the eastern main road. Yes. They also cater for the different able where persons with wheelchair can enter the library. And even though we are not seeing much books, what I understand is that you can make a request to get the physical book, but everything will be digital. And then they can come in and use your own laptops, whether at the desk or whether at the the soft chairs, you know. Of the 27,000 plus residents of Tunapuna, Ms. Paula Charles was the first to receive a new library card, along with MP for the area, the Honorable Esmond Ford. Because you blast off into the future. Because you blast off into tomorrow for sure. Thank you, Tunapuna! The reopening of the Tunapuna Public Library signals Nalis' commitment to improving education, literacy, and the power of knowledge to transform lives. This was a production of the Office of the Prime Minister, Communications.